Hello humans, I'm Ivor and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about something controversial, but I don't care. And it's about Asian people worshipping Westerners or Caucasians. So what is white supremacy? Didn't Google. White supremacy is a racist belief that white people are superior to the people of other races and therefore should be dominant over them. So why does white supremacy or white worshipping still exist? I came up with three theories. First one is the colonization of the British among the Southeast Asia countries. And second is the brainwashing media. And lastly is the internalization of the white supremacy. So here's a classic example. When a non-English speaker tries to speak English and he or she didn't speak it well or make some grammar mistakes like excuse me you say what and the asian people will probably be like ah, you're so uneducated like do you even go to school do you even read while for the english speakers when they try to learn or speak in a foreign language like mandarin ni hao wa she mei guo den and the asian be like wow how bang o how ke ai o First point, because throughout our histories, the Westerners have been asserted their dominance over the Asian countries. So in the past, the Asian people living in a colonized country, they have been oppressed by the Westerners. And ever since then, they see the Westerners as something amazing and superior. It's like, white people are here, Asian people are here. And ever since then, the Asian people have this conception saying that, oh, the whiter you are, the more you belong in the upper class, elite class. And if you have dark skin, that means that you're a slave working under the sun, doing labor work. Okay, so, so dark skin here, white skin here. Those misconceptions about skin color should be left in the past, not in the modern era right now. Second point, the media brainwashing. Because in the movie and film industries, all you see is white people. James Bond and superheroes, all of them are white. And they use Caucasian supermodels for advertisements and all the beauty products, advertisements. Because of the dominance of the white people in the media industries, and the media has been brainwashing the Asian people, saying that, oh, having blonde hair, blue eyes, fair skins are to be seen as beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. And the last point is internalization white supremacy. What does that mean? The fact that white supremacy still exists is not because of Caucasian or Westerners' fault. It's actually the Asian people that kind of racist towards their own race when you don't happen to relate to the Westerners. You get what I mean? I have a confession to make. I used to be ashamed of being Asian before I studied abroad. But then I realized I was so wrong. When I got to the UK and the people there, they're curious about my backgrounds and my ethnicity. So they'd be like, so oh. you're Chinese and you speak Malay and English? Wow. They said, oh, oh, shit. oh tell me more about your culture. And so do, do they do this? Do your people do this? You know, that kind of thing. So they want to get to know more of me because of me being Chinese. And that was when I realized. I shouldn't be ashamed of my own race or any city because being who you are is the most special thing about yourself. I was ashamed of being Asian because I was raised in a small town called Penang and, and there were not many Caucasians around. So when we see Caucasians, we'll be this like, is the white people that I've been talking about. Like, well, they're so tall, they're so white and all that. And it's sad to say that there's still white wannabes out there still trying to still trying to be white when they're Asian. You they're know? not embracing the Asian roots. So I've watched this video a few months ago. Explain this red line. I'm sorry, I have a no dating Asian policy as well. I don't want to be mistaken as you like brother and sister if you get awkward. No. Oh, kind of have a no dating Asian sort of policy. You kind of look a bit like my brother. Oh. <laughs> And it's not a joke. I've actually met people like them. And some Asian girls, they'd be like, oh, I don't date Asian boys. Like, why do you have to put a race in it? And to be honest with you, a part of my family kind of encouraged me getting 
white boyfriend. They'd be like, oh. first thing they thought about me going to the UK, they'd be like, wow, I can get white boyfriend i I'm like, <laughs> and that's the reason why I was ashamed of being Asian and worshipping the white culture. Because when I got to the UK and got exposed to the white culture, the Caucasians and the white people, they're just the same as us. They're humans. Why do we have to rank a human being based on their skin color and their race or ethnicity? Like, why? When I was in Montenegro traveling and there was this guy asked me, so you're Chinese, why do you have English name? I was stunned. I was like, yeah, why huh? I don't know why. <laughs> pretty common in Malaysia to have English names when you're Chinese. My whole family is a Buddhist, so there was no reason behind me having an English name. It kind of makes sense if you're American-born Chinese and you happen to have like English name because, you know, white culture. Yeah. When I was in the UK, people asked me, so what, what does Ivor mean? <laughs> I didn't know how to answer that. I don't know why I was given that name. I don't know why. I asked my mom. She was like, oh, I just oh, picked I out of the English name list. But why? This is mainly the parents' fault. It's sad to say that the Asian parents, they emphasize their kids to learn English so much that they forgot how to speak Mandarin, they forgot their roots. So it's pretty sad because the grandchildren can't even communicate with the grandparents. I, I mean, even if you're Chinese and you're not brought up in a Chinese background and you had no one to speak Chinese with, I mean, it is good to go back to your roots and learn Chinese. Imagine you're Italian and you don't know a word of Italian. You would notice that I've put Chinese subtitles down below because because I want to make sure everyone understand the message in this video. This is a wake up call for Asian people. Stop worshipping white people or Caucasian. Asians can be as good as them. If this still happens, the self-esteem of the Asians would have lowered down and, and it's hard for them to learn English because they feel ashamed of that. But don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that white people are bad, English is bad. What I'm trying to say is, English is important for the sake of communications with people from other countries. and. You can have preference, like I like English songs, I don't listen to Chinese songs. You can prefer anything, but, but you do not forget your own roots, because that's who you are. Before I came to the UK, I was so ashamed of being in Chinese. But when I got to the UK, I was so proud of myself because I'm able to speak Mandarin, I have Malay and English. And the reason why I got a job in Chinese restaurants is because I knew how to speak Mandarin. Like, a Mandarin and Hokkien, uh, Mandarin, Hokkien, and Cantonese. I don't know because of me being Chinese, I'm able to exchange the culture and the language to other Europeans that I work with in the gelato shop. Like they were teaching me Italian, and, and I thought I had to write in simplified Chinese. And I was the first Asian that got hired in the gelato shop, and. There was a lot of like Chinese coming into the shop and they were not that confident in speaking English when, and that's when I came to help because I'm able to speak Mandarin. I'm so proud of myself. You know, I, I'm able to translate, you know? So I'm really proud of myself. So I'm no longer ashamed for myself being Chinese. Don't go hao. No. Hua yu hao. That's a different topics about China. Because I'm Malaysian Chinese not from China. So that's all I've got to say. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. So my message for you to take away from this video today is give everyone an equal chance regardless of their race and their skin color. Stay woke guys. Bye. See you soon.